Hi, it's John. It's the 13th of July, 2014, and I'm at Rhyme Intrinsica in Dorset. It's a very nice village in the heart of Dorset, just by uh, Yeovil, really. And I drive back through here to get home. Um, in the UK, at certain times, they had to build houses for working people you know, what we used to call council houses and now in the uh, this generation they called it afford affordable homes where you can um, either buy your home or rent your home um, or you can you can half buy it and half rent it um, anyway these are the original council houses here in, in, and they uh, they had to be put in every village it was a, a thing when the when uh, when the UK was socialist even the even Ted Heath was socialist, and um, it was a good idea. So, so you didn't get these great conurbations of um, uh, municipal housing. You got um, you got them spread about in the countryside, and people couldn't make villages to sort of select. I mean, this is the heart of England, Rhyme Intrinsica, roughly a Roman name. Um, and certainly it was and is worth fighting for. That's the road going out to Yeovil that way. And this road here goes through the village and then goes to um, Yetminster. And uh, I mean, it's difficult to find the um, what one might call the centre of Rhyme Intrinsica, but um, there are some nice bits. And it's got its own pub. Satch Cottage on my left, my right here, that you can't see. Hill Cottage. Look at that. This is the old post house, and above the door, it's got a clerk there in 1772. So that's the Georgian period. A lot of Georgian houses have um, different roofs onto that. They have the internal guttering, but the roof might have been slightly changed. Very, well, I mean, that door was very quaint. Looks like an original door, and this, this window here, this bay window, looks original. Um, I mean, the width of that door. You can almost see a sort of George Georgian guy going through it, can't you? A bit, a bit on the uh, portly side. Of course, anybody who buys a, an old cottage, they've got to be prepared to, um, you know, maintain it every, uh, you know, a few years. It's not going to be like a, a state house where you can just sort of do it up and then leave it. It'll, um, you know, it won't be long before it needs major work done on it. And I think, you know, that's what happens is people get them all done up and then they sell them. And new people own bought buy them and they finally got to do them up again. So that's on the left and there's another house here on the right. This looks, oh, this is another thatch cottage. I say thatch cottage, but that's more than a cottage. It's, uh, well, some sort of substance lived there, no doubt. Uh, more of a merchant's house. I mean, the door looks original. The door looks amazing. It's an old. 
old hinges. It's got the um, the ties going through it, holding it all together. Don't think you get planning permission for a place like that now. Although it may even be Grade Two listed now. I wonder when that was built. This place made of stone and uh, sort of corrugated roof. And then over on that side, there's a gargoyle. Interesting place. It's called Lilac Cottage. Now here's a footpath going down here, and it goes down just by the. It's like a Methodist chapel or Baptist chapel. A little look down there. Well, it says it's the old, the old schoolhouse. Footpath. Clifton Maybank 2. Hmm. Well, there's the manor. Um, I'm going to say it's in a Georgian type style. But it's also in a sort of uh, Romanesque type style, style with the pillars. I wonder what that building down there would have been. Maybe it was for the staff. Big field of oilseed rape here. Well, not a big field. Tiny bit of oilseed rape here, should I say. <laughs> and. Uh, The Dorset Somerset skyline. Of course, Yeovil is in Somerset, not Dorset. Looks like the footpath goes down there. Might go down there one day. Not today, though. We've been having the wind from the east, and now it's going to be going round to the west wind and the weather. And I just heard the anvil sign caught in the wind. I thought that's fantastic. I wonder if I can get it caught in the wind. Make a nice little bit of video. Anyway, on my way I'm going to go up to the church and see what's going on up there. This is the, um, you know, these these bits that I've been doing on the video. They seem to be about the centre of of rhyme intrinsica, you know. It's not really a holiday resort or location. This is what they do in church nowadays. Hymns and Pims. The White Hart Yetminster. Lamp in memory of Eileen Henderson died October the 5th, 1980, from a grateful community. Saint. Hippolytus. Hmm, looks like we might have a bit of a Catholic. A um, bit of a high church tradition. I think it must be, must be Church of England though, because, you know, there's not many Catholic, Roman Catholics who've got their proper traditional church. 
horses. It's like a mini church. Could be a Catholic church. It's open. The Three Valleys Benefice rhyme. And they've had a looks like they've had a service here this morning. There's a clock working. And sort of small pipe organ. Not portable but small one. glass in the chancel. Quarry tiles on the floor. Here's the little window from the inside. No old glass, just new glass. Well, newish glass. Coat of arms. And a picture of Reverend John Blair Hassett. Passed away September the 5th, 1890. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow, and sinning shall flee away. Eighteen ninety. Fifty years the rector of the parish of Rhyme Intrinsica. It's nice to go in an open church, and it's nice to come out again into the. The fresh air. And that manor house type building down there, that was the old rectory. I can't believe it. Can you create a place like that, the old rectory? I'm on my way back up now. Uh, the wind's getting up, so I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to keep, because the wind might be getting in the microphone off the tongue. Um, anyway, a lot of these houses, you just don't know which ones are real houses with people living in them and which ones of them are holiday cottages or second homes. And, um, well, there's lots of things that kill villages. You know, out-of-town supermarkets, they kill villages. And also second homes. Do and what they cost a gist. Well, holiday cottages aren't quite so bad as second homes, really, because at least with a holiday cottage, you know, you've normally got someone there living in the village. Whereas with a second home, if first people aren't using it for a, a home, you know, it's empty. And there's no one to use the shop or the pub. Not well, I've quite often thought about doing a video of Rhyme Intrinsica. I thought of doing a little bit more research into the village before I did it, but there's no time like the present. I suppose if I really wanted to, I could put any information at the bottom of this video.
Anyway, right, back to my car now. Right, bye for now.